Brandon, that home run in the seventh was a no-doubter, and it was quite the blast. 431 feet. How good did that feel coming off the bat? Uh, it felt great uh, to be able to get a pitch uh, that late in the game and be able to do something like that with it. it was pretty awesome. Yeah, what did you see from that pitch that you liked and that you were able to take advantage of and get so much power behind? Uh, just the fact, I mean, you know, he attacked me with, uh, I think, three cutters before that, and, you know, it was just kind of anticipating another one, and, you know, he left it up. Yesterday, Brandon, 11 runs for this team today, another strong offensive performance. How much fun has it been to see everybody contribute the last few days and see this surge of strong offense? Uh, it's a blast. It, uh, it makes the dugouts a lot more fun. You can jerk around and have a good time when you're winning. <laughs> Brandon, believe it or not, two weeks left in the season. This was your 30th win of the season. You guys sit atop of the AL East. What is special about this team right now? Uh, just everything, you know, top to bottom, you know, pitching staff, bullpen, you know, one through nine in the lineup, the guys on the bench, man. It's, it's just a fun team to be around, you know, and it's just extremely talented nonetheless. I mean, we're, we get out there and, you know, every guy wants to get out there and give it his all and, you know, win and cheer each other on. And, you know, it makes for a good clubhouse and it gets brought out there on the field. All right. Congratulations, Brandon. Thanks so much. Appreciate your time. Thank you. Kevin, we'll start with the home run by Brandon Lau in the seventh, 431 feet. How impressive and timely was that blast from Brandon? It was both. It was really impressive and very timely. Uh, you know, Glasnow certainly deserved better. He threw a good ball game for us. And right there at the end, Arroyo comes up with a big two-run homer. It was nice that Brandon uh, got a pitch he could handle. Handle, and we answered right back. Um, you know, he's he, Brandon's had a tremendous season, uh, and I know he's been scuffling a little bit here as of late, but he keeps at it and came up with a, just a huge hit today. You mentioned Tyler. What did you think of what, what he was able to do in those seven innings, including that two-run home run by Arroyo in the seventh? I, I, I thought he was outstanding. I thought his stuff was really, really good. Um, the, the, the breaking ball, you know, was pretty violent. Uh, I thought he had better stuff today than he did against the, the Marlins. Uh, he just got burnt by, you know, um, two home runs, but really, really impressive outing. It wasn't just Brandon Lau who contributed offensively. You know, you had Austin Meadows, Nate Lowe, Manuel Marco. How nice is that to see the offense, you know, after there was a bit of a skid where everyone's contributing? Yeah, I mean, look, we, we talked about that. Rarely do you see nine guys hot at one time or nine guys cold at one time. It's nice to be able to piece it together with, you know, uh, half half your lineup that, that are starting to come out of, you know, this little funk that we've been in. And it was very contributing. I mean, Nate um, Nate's hit was big, Manny the big double, and Austin getting us started uh, with the home run off of, uh, of Aldi. And then just Choi, the left hamstring strain, is that pretty, you know, we don't know. You froze up on me, but I, I think I got the gist of it with Troy. Um, yeah, I think it's fair that he's probably going to miss some time. It's pretty unfortunate. He's such a big part of our team, and, um, it, you know, it, it's really unfortunate at this point. We'll, we'll see what the, the doctors say, um, but that's a tough one. Kevin, you alluded to uh, Brandon. It looks like maybe both he and Austin are kind of coming out on the other side of their, their skids there the last couple of days. Yeah, I think, look, they've had better at bats for sure. Um, you know, I think Brandon was frustrated earlier in the game with a, um, you know, a couple of his at bats, but that's the way it goes. These guys are, they're really, really determined. They're de determined players, hitters, pitchers, whatever, and uh, they get frustrated with themselves more than anything when things don't go their way, but give them a ton of credit for kind of sticking through and, and putting the work in. I mean, Austin's been in the cage every day, uh, and and there's a sense that he's, he's feeling a little bit better at the plate, timed up, uh, and the same with Brandon. The results help. The results help a lot. Like when you're scuffling sure. and you get a you get a big hit, that 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 goes a long way with your psyche. And were, were you trying to get Glass out through the seventh? Was that the plan? Yeah, uh, we had Nick up for you know if two guys got on, but you know we're, we're totally comfortable and confident where he was from a workload standpoint, um, and and the way you know he looked. Just tip your cap. The guy got him. And just one other thing, we saw the blood on his, he had like blood on his finger, he was wiping it on his pants. Was that a blister or a cut or finger? No, it's, it's actually, it's, um, 
it's on the back of his thumb, his his throwing thumb. When he grips, uh, I believe, one of his pitches, it just kind of irritates it. It has nothing to do with his throwing or anything. It's it's more just hitting it repeatedly. Um, that something that he's going to have to manage and has had multiple times in the past. Anything else for Kevin? One other thing with Glass, the stolen bases, it looks like that's a little bit of an issue again. Yeah, I mean, I, look, he's working through things. I know that him and Kyle will um, address it, uh, but, you know, we say this to all the guys, like, you got to care, and he does a ton, uh, but every pitch he throws, we want the focus to be on the hitter. Uh, get the hitter out. We're going to trust that his stuff is good enough to overcome some of those things. Um, and, you know, I, I think even with Mikey, Mikey did a good job of staying in the moment with him. It's easy for, you know, a catcher to get frustrated by the balls in the dirt or, or the stolen bases. Um, but the, the reason they don't, they don't do more is because they know how special Mikey is back there controlling the running game. Hey, Tyler. Um, just talked to Kevin Cash. He said you, he thought that your stuff was very good tonight. He said your breaking ball was strong, but that there were just a couple home runs that, that hurt a little bit. How did you feel about tonight? I, I didn't feel very good. I felt pretty out of rhythm. The first inning was fine, then after that I just got way out of rhythm. The last couple innings were actually way better, and that seems to be the case for me this year. Um, I just need to figure it out sooner. Um, but I've been able to like kind of have a dialogue with Kyle, and he noticed the same stuff, and I just had no rhythm, and just wasn't really athletic, and then I think once we talked about it a little bit, it got a little better. Can you put your finger on maybe why that why that seems to be the case for you this season? I don't know. I just when I'm uncomfortable, I just I don't know. Timing wise, it's been weird the last two, but that's just kind of normal throughout the course of a season. But I don't I don't know. It's just well, I just it's like kind of overthinking when I'm not feeling right instead of like trying to just go out there and compete with what I have. I'm like trying to fix and feel perfect when really. What I did all last year was like, all right, I don't feel great today. Let's just go out and be athletic. But I, it's just nice having Kyle there, and we can kind of have that dialogue in the dugout. And as I, like I said, I just think it got better towards the end. My velo got back to relatively normal, and I just felt like I was spinning it way better. And your thumb was bleeding a little bit. Is it okay? And, and kind of what happened there? It's fine. Yeah, I just, I like, if I don't cut my nails for a while, I, when I throw my curveball in my heater, I, my nail, like, snags the back of my skin. And, I mean, like, it happened last start. Um... And then I called him out there to put, like, I put, like, surgical glue on it, and it helps. And apparently MLB has a rule that you can't put anything on the pitcher's right hand or something. So I was just throwing bloody baseballs during COVID. So that should probably be a change. But um, it's fine. It, nothing, like, it was fine that I didn't even think about it. It just blood on my pants, and then it was, it was fine after that. So, so how did you guys stop the bleeding? What did he put on if he couldn't put that? Nothing. <laughs> I just sat there and threw bloody baseballs at people, and then I went into the inning, into the tunnel after, and then put, like, surgical glue on it, and it was good. But, um, yeah, I just, it's fine now. It's cool. Well, even they just can't put it on on the mound. I don't, I guess, but that just seems like a dumb okay. rule to me. <laughs> I don't understand, especially now, like, with the exceptions and all the weird stuff happening, like, you'd think I can just put surgical glue on my thumb so I don't bleed everywhere. But whatever hey, you, your body language looked like you were really mad over the arroyo homer i mean do you still take the good out of this overall say that one more time sorry it cut out the end i th said you looked like you the body language was you were really mad over the arroyo homer but i assume you still see the good in the outing right i guess i maybe in an hour or two i'm pretty pissed off still that was like that's a tough one he, he put a really good swing on it i went back and looked it was like i could have gone up higher with it um but it was 97 with good spin at like middle upper part of the zone and he i just give him props um but yeah that's super frustrating like hundredth pitch um i started to feel like i was kind of feeling a little better and then uh yeah that happened but yeah i mean i think all in all it was it was fine i battled pretty good today hey, hey Tyler, they had a, a lot of stolen bases too was that part of the rhythm that you were kind of talking about or was it just them being super aggressive yeah no it was like super slow to the plate and i think when timing gets wrong like today i kind of incorporated like a little short slide step but my times to home were even slower so kyle was like all right stop like you're you're, you're trying to control the running game but you just need to get back to like being fast and athletic and i think after that it got back to back to normal but today was terrible with controlling the running game time for one more for tyler and it's just one more, more thing. Kind of the velo went up and down. Was that also part of the rhythm, or was that kind of you? I think that was part of just get out of rhythm. And then I, I 
even like a, a couple starts before, I just think like the fourth and fifth kind of, I just, I don't know, you get into that like flow state a little bit better. And I just think Kyle kind of reminding me to like keep everything moving the same speed. And I, I like I said, I, I'm happy with how it felt towards the end.